took me by the hand. We started to walk through the dark hallways. And just as we opened the door, I saw that there was still a male staff assistant sitting at the computer doing some work. And Bill was startled. He did not expect that man to be in there. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is having a great day. And many of you have somewhat of an understanding on what exactly the IBLP is and have discovered some really upsetting teachings and principles. A lot of people followed with also following the leader who allegedly performed and covered up multiple acts that was inappropriate and pretty much got away with it. In the Shiny Happy People documentary, several victims shared their horrific experience being a part of the cult. One victim named Emily Anderson shared more than what I'm sure her heart could handle. She was one of the many of Bill Gothard's victims and explained that she also had trouble with her own father, so she felt that Bill would have the answers. Instead, he told her that her father doesn't love her, but... He does. He said, um, you belong here. I love you. You know that, right? Your father doesn't love you, but I love you. Emily gets into more detail because there was a lot that she was unable to share in the documentary. And a lot of it I have to kind of censor because it gets into real detail. So I do advise a lot of you to go to her page on Instagram. It's called Thriving Forward. And I'm just going to kind of skim through. It says, since the release of the documentary, people have been asking her who the male assistant was um, that actually watched Gothard do what he did. She says the man is David Waller. David is now um, not a part of the Advanced Training Institute. He has his own church in Texas. And she also states that over the span of two weeks, David watched closely of everything Gother did and, and even crafting ways to get her to stay at the headquarters. Um, she said, if you're wondering if Waller has changed in the last decade and now chooses to hold people accountable, she says she believes he has not changed at all. She also explains that he is the one who wrote a letter to the judge in Josh Duggar's case asking for leniency, saying he needed to be home with his children spiritually and financially. So with that being said, I'm so happy that she feels comfortable to have this particular platform to just start calling people out. And hopefully those people can take accountability, say what they have done and move forward. But we all see how that works in a lot of fundamentalist groups. I mean, look at Josh. He still claims he's innocent. His family still thinks his inno he's innocent. Well, for the most part, there's a couple of them who know that he's guilty. However, it's just bad that they don't take accountability for their actions. Even Priscilla's dad, Mike Keller, went to um, their church in Texas and had an entire complete sermon just on negativity and things that should have not been said about slavery. And the video has now been taken down, but it was bad. So tell me you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Are you surprised that um, David Waller assisted uh, Bill Gothard into all of these things that he's been doing to some of these victims. Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and follow my channel, and I will be back for more. Bye for now.